Towers of Doom is a large, three-lane battleground that serves as a contest between two of the Nexus powerful Realm Lords. Heroes are recruited to serve either the Raven Lord, Guardian of Raven Court, or the Grave Keeper, a being who has been manipulating heroes in an effort to gain power in the Haunted Mines. Towers of Doom is a distinctly different battleground than all others currently found in the Nexus. Heroes cannot damage the opposing team's core directly. Instead, they must capitalize on the map's central objective to find victory. Scattered around the battleground are six bell towers set inside distinct locations. Your team will begin each game in control of the three locations nearest your core. From here, your team must do what they can to protect these locations while simultaneously working to destroy the towers under your enemy's control. Destroying an enemy tower will cause a friendly tower to spawn in its place and will have a direct impact on the second active component of this battleground, the altars. Periodically, altars will spawn in four potential locations. Once present on the map, an altar can be channeled. If channeled successfully, each tower under the channeler's control, as well as their own core, will launch a single projectile at the opposing team's core. Each projectile deals a single point of damage, with each core consisting of 40 total health. In the chance case your team manages to wrangle control of all six locations on this battleground, your core will begin to steadily bombard the enemies until the six cap is broken or the game ends. We have added an area in front of the opposing base that is powerfully defended by cannons. We call this area the kill zone. You'll want to stay out of here. Alongside the central objective, teams can pursue the support of mercenary camps and a boss. Each mercenary camp consists of three sappers. Once captured, the trio will push against enemy towers inside their lane of travel. Each sapper utilizes small AoE attacks while in lane, but their real strength is unleashed in proximity to enemy structures. Here, they will careen themselves directly into buildings, dealing massive damage to the area. If all towers are under your team's control, sappers will move directly toward the enemy's base. Upon reaching the kill zone, sappers will launch themselves at the enemy core, dealing a point of damage each. Due to their significant potential against structures, it is wise to escort them to an ideal destination, rather than allowing an enemy to take them out prematurely. <laughs> World of Warcraft players may recognize the boss on Towers of Doom as the Headless Horseman of Hallow's End. Should your team manage to defeat this legendary menace, his cellar door will open, firing four projectiles at the enemy's core. Lastly, we have added a new transportation tunnel to this battleground, which opens up around 12 minutes into a game. Utilize this to go directly from your base to the center of the battleground instantly. Keep in mind, however, that travel is one way, and the exit point is shared by both teams. Defend your towers, take your enemies, and use altars to assault the opposing team's core. Control of the realm is at stake. Will the Towers of Doom serve you or your destruction?